Landscape Artist of the Year, Season 4, Episode 8. This even includes the final commission and our final winner for this season. This is a recap. Let's get started. And please consider leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to this little uh, choo-choo train of a program, <laughs> whatever you call it. Here are our three semifinalists. The first one up is a tonalist. He paints in black, white, and gray. And he is, uh, you know, a very different way of looking at things, which the judges have been very direct about that they want to have. They want to have new voices and they want to see something that di different that they haven't seen before. So this kind of tonal work is probably something that they're um, intrigued by, so they want to see more of it. The first painting was the painting he did to enter the program. He had unlimited time for that one. This is the one that won him his particular episode that brought him to the semifinals. And now we'll go to the semifinals. And on the semifinals, this is his semifinal entry where he did, does start to use color. I really like his design sense and, sen and uh, uh, simplicity here. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to see him here, although disappointed about many artists who were passed up, but I will leave that behind. Here's our next semifinalist for season uh, four. And this is uh, her the piece that she did to enter the show. It's, it's pleasant, you know, kind of, I, I, like, I like the colors. She's a atmospheric kind of painter. She captures the atmosphere as opposed to specific shapes and uh, structures. And I'm on board for that. And here is the painting that won her particular episode. This was a very sunny day on a sandy beach. And this is what she painted. Um, at, at the... At the time, it was not my, my favorite of the day, but that's often the case. I, you know, throughout this, these recaps, I said, hashtag Joe is always wrong, and you can count on it. I will be wrong. I never. I think there's been once where uh, the judges and I have agreed on something. Now, when you look at the one that she spent a lot of time on on the left, um, or as much time as she wanted to, and the one that she did on the right in four hours, they're not dissimilar, and you get a sense of her style and what her portfolio portfolio might look like. The next one up, I admit, is uh, my favorite painter in this uh, semifinals. I like this interior painting immensely. It has texture, and I think it's really creative to turn um, something really beautiful out of what was basically, a, a, you know, a messy, ruined structure, but, um, but it's very appealing to me. The one on the right is the one that he did on his particular episode where he did both of you looking toward the structure that was in the formal garden and also a view looking out from that structure, which I think was pretty clever, you know, sort of that in and out. And he uh, covers a lot of distance, which uh, I think is important for a landscape painter. Now, when he painted this one for the semifinals, I was really surprised just because I expected him to stay with the same color palette he had had before, which was quite neutral, warm neutral though, you know, more toward the uh, sandy kind of colors with a lot of yellow in them. And in this case, he went more toward uh, cool neutrals, which probably is, is because, <laughs> you know, the scene almost called for it. You know, you had sea and sky and of course the sea is always going to reflect the sky, so there's going to be an abundance of blue. Now, they're, today they're at Greenwich Park, and this is an interesting venue because it, it's a huge, vast expanse. First we get a drone shot, so we look down and we can see those trapezoid-type structures that the painters are going to paint in today. Remember, they're going to have two hours to paint, then a lunch break, and then two more hours, and that's it for the day. There will be a commission that each one of them does, a landscape commission, and they'll be judged on that. And between, uh, in combination of both of those, they are then, uh, they, the judges will select a winner today and I will show the final uh, winner's commission. So you can see the broad expanse, which is sort of horizontal where that whitish building is, and then the cityscape beyond that. So that's an enormous di distance to cover. So, um, 
you know, that's going to be a challenge. How are you going to, how are you going to fit all that in? How are you going to edit? What are you going to decide? Here's a nice view right from the pods. And you can see the day was not a great day. You know, you, there are no shadows to be seen. So the final judging. The final judging is just on these three paintings for the day. This is, um, although we'll get into the commissions as well. And they have unlimited time. Oh, no, I think they have two weeks on the commissions. But on the paintings I did today, they only have four hours. And that's a lot of real estate to cover in four hours. That's a pretty complex... Boy, there's a lot going on here with those vertical buildings and the long horizontal building in front. I think it was wise to put the emphasis on the sky and um, not the big expanse toward the, uh, toward the buildings. Uh, that makes a lot of sense to me. This was done by our black, and black, white, and gray artist, so that surprised me. He got quite colorful there. This is a fellow who's done two different paintings before, and he had done that interior that I like so much. He had to have had technology at play here because there's no way he could see close up what was going on here. I'm not sure what the reference was from the pods, but this is, uh, this is what he came up with. And here is the painting, the last painting of the day which is our more atmospheric painter. Um, and, and I don't really have a lot to respond to with this one, but she put the emphasis more on the pastures in front as opposed to the uh, cityscape behind. So, you know, judgments were, were made. It's quite pastoral. Here she is with the painting that uh, got her onto the program. And now we're gonna look at the commission. Now I think the commission was assigned. I, sometimes the um, artists are choose who, what they want the commission to be, you know, so they have a vested interest in it. So this has more form than anything she had done throughout the competition. You can see that it's a peer. And, um, you know, she's not a colorist, that's for sure. But uh, she does have a way with the brush when it comes to sort of this atmosphere, this sort of floaty, filmy, thing going on. Now the next one, just to remind us, this is the fella who I kind of really like a lot, obviously, and uh, which tells you already he's not going to win. And um, so that was the piece that got him onto the program, judged him onto the program. And here's the piece that he did today. I don't No, This was the commission piece. Excuse me. This is the commission piece. I really like this piece. But I, I, I always love, you know, red against green. I live in, in uh, a state in the United States called Vermont, which is known for being green and red barns, so that's my language. Here's our tonal painter. And to my surprise, he brought out all the stops for his commission piece. Here's his commission piece for the day. Yeah, how about that? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Boy, that's extraordinary work on those dark rocks in front. And lots of diagonals going on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that, that tall lighthouse cuts up that space behind. So the judges are going to have a, a, a tough time deciding who's going to win. But um, they've already decided. Here, here, here it is. <laughs> Let's get right to the winner. Um, and I will show the final commission as well. I'm not making a separate recap about that. So there are the three artists with the paintings that they did today, and they are going to announce who the finalist, uh, not, uh, yeah, who the, who the final commission goes to. And um, to say the least, I was very, very surprised. But that's the way this program is, and I'm just grateful to be able to see all the art and talk about it with you and read your comments. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a lucky life. So here's the person that wins our atmospheric painter. And we're gonna, as I said, we're gonna see her final commission. This one has um, some degree of brightness that maybe her other paintings didn't prior to this, but uh, you know, it's, it's pretty consistent with work that we've seen from her. There's the piece, that, once again, that was judged in order for her to be on the program. And then we can see once more the piece that won her episode and those are like boat forms in front and an umbrella, I think. They might have been changing stations. It's, it's, it's really hard to tell. She's not about the specifics. You know, she's about, she's much more about shapes and mood, much more of an abstract painter. And, you know, that's, that's what she is and that's what the judges wanted. And now we'll look at the 
piece that she did today. So like I said, that's our winner. And so now we will head toward the final commission. It's a $10,000 prize and it's going to be on a gallery wall. So it has to have some degree of impact and you can decide if it does or it doesn't. I'm not going to say one way or the other. There she is. I mean, yay, that's a long road to hoe, to enter the program and then um, have your episode be in the semifinals and now come to um, this commission. There, uh, the pressure just must be immense. And we have to have the red curtain. There's something about a red curtain that's just required for art. I don't know why. You know, the drama of pulling away the curtain. I don't know. It's, it's, it works. And there's the painting that she did. And you can decide, you know, how you feel about it. It's certainly consistent with the work that we saw prior to now. So the judges were very, um, you know, I think they got what they wanted. Here's a detail of it. Um, when we see the episode, these are absolutely not the colors in any way that were in front of her. Um, but this is the final piece. So that's the end of this season. So remember to keep the whites, your paper white, your paints wet, math for value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.